What's up guys, Frisbee here. Last night I made a video, it was about half hour long with my brother. It was kind of random, just talking about stuff all over the place. So this one, I'm going to kind of make it more focused for people that didn't really feel like watching a half hour long video. And it would have been longer than that if the camera didn't cut me off. I think we went for like an extra 10 minutes before I realized it stopped. So... Um, yeah, this one is just going to be about the custom knives that I have been working on. This excludes the um, the prototype for the run of knives that I'm doing. Uh, you've already seen that one a lot, I think, so. Um, but I think that's about it. I'm just going to get started, try to keep the video shorter. This one is not finished yet, but I figured I would show it anyways. It's still kind of dirty looking, as you can see. Um, yeah, kind of got a funky grind on there, and uh, my brother last night said it kind of looks like a, what, a Todd Bag tree frog, and I don't really think so, because it kind of comes down real far and then comes back up, definitely doesn't have that crazy grind. I'm probably going to bring this up a little more, just so it's higher than that part, but I mean... Comfortability, it's comfortable, you just don't have a lot to grab onto, really. I mean, you're not going to lose it, because you can wrap your fingers around there, but... I don't know, not too bad. Um, and... If anyone's seen anyone else do a grind like this, let me know, like one that overlaps this grind. I've seen a lot of people go and do them, that, ones that meet that grind, but... Um, that was kind of done on accident. I just kind of kept going, trying to get it straight. But I think that part will be a really nice slicer because it gets really thin right there. Just flat, and it kind of brings it back out at the tip, so it's not going to break off, hopefully. But, yeah, probably be a nice slicer. And this one is the only V-grind that I have done. And this knife I'm not too happy with. It was made from a very oddly shaped scrap of 440C. So there wasn't much I could do with the design, but I think the camera just jumped there. But yeah, not too bad. Kind of looks like a surgical tool or something. I'll take my ring off there. Not too bad. It was sharp last time I checked. I don't have any paper sitting around. But yeah, not too much to talk about on this one. The mirrored edge, acid washed, everything else. Bottle opener right there. Some jimping on the top, swedge. And this is the Timascus one that I did for Sean Hansen. He will be getting this soon. I really need to send this out to get um, a Kydex sheath done for it soon. But. Yeah, this one, um, once again, it was just a scrap piece of Timascus from the Timascus uh, Spyderco Domino scale that I did. So I went ahead and just made a simple little neck knife, and that'll be something cool to show off. I haven't really seen too many Timascus fixed blades. I would really, really like somebody to carbonize this edge right here. I don't know if people really carbonize Timascus, I'm sure. You could. I'm probably going to polish this back up and re-anodize it before it gets sent out. It's got a decent edge on it. It'll cut paper, but it's not, like, definitely not a hair-popping edge. So, if anyone knows anybody that does carbonizing and Kydex sheaths, that would be awesome. And you should let me know. This one was kind of just a freestyle, ended up being really, really small. I mean, for a neck knife, that might be, that might even be too small for a neck knife, but somebody just wants a really light one. You can still get a decent grip on this thing. I mean, you got this, these two fingers, and it's got jimping here and here. So you can really get a nice hold in the poon up there. The harpoon gives you a little, I guess, like a thumb ramp to 
get a nice hold on. This one is kind of a screw up because the that bottom hole right there got kind of up too high, but and none of these are really for sale. These are kind of like I guess practice knives. I mean, if anyone wants to buy them, I'm going to tell I mean I don't really like to sell anything unless it's pretty like perfect and in my opinion none of these are perfect M minus this one I mean this one I don't think there's anything really wrong with it I think it just needs maybe a carbonized edge just to so it holds an edge better but nothing really wrong with this one and I'm not just saying that because I already sold it I just think it's really cool because it's Timascus um yeah, we'll go on to the bigger one. This one was this one was kind of like a freestyle, and as was this one, and this one, and this one. But um, yeah, I don't. I just don't really draw out the knives before I make them. Whenever I do, I kind of end up screwing up or whatever. So I based this one off of that one. Obviously, just made a little bit bigger, more functional. Nice grind on there. I did it going. I guess you'd still call that a satin grind, and I mentioned a lot of this in my video from last night, so don't be like, you said all this already. This is just for the people who didn't feel like watching the 30 minute video, I understand. I wouldn't want to hear me talk for 30 minutes either, but um, I don't know, I really like that grind, it looks really clean, instead of the grinders coming down this way, instead of doing it, let me get that focused. Yeah, the grinders coming down that way like that. Instead of doing it like that, which gives you a normal um, satin grind. This one's really rough, so don't really base it off this. But grind's going that way. This one just did it going that way. Made it really clean. And I did the swedge going that way as well. Right up to the point. Very sharp point. I just about cut myself when I picked when I first picked it up for the video. Gets really thin to the edge there. Really thin. I mean, this would be mostly a defensive weapon. Um, neck knife. You're gonna want to get to it quick. Just pull that out. I mean, that's gonna go through something pretty quick that's really thin at the edge there and it's even real it gets it's still really thin when it's up at the end of the harpoon there so yeah that'll probably mess somebody up if you really needed to and the rest of it the holes are just obviously for just weight reduction you don't want something real heavy hanging from your neck there this one does not have any jimping on it i figured the jimping wasn't needed on this one on this one i felt like it was needed because if this is in a sheath it's going to be probably in a sheath to about right there because I don't even know could you make a kydex sheath like and I don't was it like, an, like two inches big but gonna be in a sheath to about right there and you don't really have anything to grab onto that was really slick so now that jumping right there you can just pull it right out of the sheath and this one I don't know you got like two fingers room to grab onto I might if somebody wants to buy it or wants one like this I would throw some jimping on there if they pleased, but I'm going to have to take this part down too, right here, that is super scary sharp at the corner. And this one is not done as well, you can see it's all black on the side there and everything. <coughs> oh god, we're already at 9 minutes, okay. Um, I'm going to try to hurry up, I try to make this one short, but I keep rambling. This one is... Very strange. I've never done a knife like this. I've never really seen a knife like this. I don't know if anyone would even really like this, but um, yeah, it was, um, how do I say, this missing section was originally there, but I kind of did like a little mill pattern, you know, like the alpha hunter knives have just the little 
divot that goes down like that. I did that, and it looked really clean and everything. It just looked really pointless, and um, I don't know. So I thought, well, that comes up like right there, and it's got some marks in it from where I put it in the vise, but those will get cleaned up. And it comes up right there, so I'll just cut it out right there, and definitely looks weird. It does give you a little bit more to hold on to before you were just holding on to like a little thing like that. This one, you can get the fingers wrapped around there and give it a nice grip. I'm actually not a big fan of the Kiridashi style, just a little up like that. Um... If a custom knife maker made it, I would definitely buy one for the right price, like a maker that I really liked. And these are a cool way to get something from a, obviously, a maker that is way more bigger than me. But it, when they make stuff like this, I think it's kind of cool. It's because it's stuff like that's affordable. And it's not like a $600 custom when they do these for like 75 or 100 bucks. That's always awesome but uh, yeah this I don't I don't even really want to call it a skull like the little face right here kind of happened on accident I was trying to figure out how because it was kind of heavy I was trying to figure out a way to take some weight off of this so I was gonna and the jimping was already here so I was gonna do holes right there and then just cut through them and just make that just, I guess, like an oval or like a rounded off rectangle. And it was going to be kind of pointless. So I saw that and I just threw a nose on there. Not really. I thought it was center. I guess it's not really centered on there. But that's what you get when it's just a, when it's not machined, when it's all done by hand. Not everything's going to be absolutely perfect. The jimping, my jimping has actually been getting a lot better, as you can see. I mean, this is minus the marks from the vise. Look at that. Definitely getting better. And definitely better than this one. This one was like more similar. But, yeah, I just kind of wanted to post this video, get your guys's thoughts and constructive criticism don't destroy me but yeah you guys have any comments or suggestions or something i should make something i should try or anything like that please let me know in the comments or you can email me i'll leave my email in the description like usual so yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching, and yeah.